City of Pittsburgh is gearing up to go green. Thousands of people are expected to show off their parade passion at this at this St. Patrick's Day weekend. Lauren Linder joins us live on the North Shore, a place expected to be packed with people celebrating this weekend. Lauren, good morning. Good morning, David and Lindsay. Well, up to 350,000 people could be coming to downtown Pittsburgh this weekend to celebrate St. St. Patrick's Day, and many of them will be coming right here to the bars and businesses on the North Shore. But Pittsburgh police want to ensure that everyone is going to be safe during this event, and they're stepping up patrols. Now, this morning, Pittsburgh Public Safety will be holding an update on their plans for the weekend, but we've learned some of them when it comes to the south side. A new substation is opening just in time for the holiday at 18th and Mary, the old home of Zone 3, until it closed about 15 years ago when it moved closer to Allentown. Councilperson Bob Charland, who represents the neighborhood, tells me it will be a place for the south side entertainment patrol made up of a little more than 10 officers that launched last June. The hope is that this allows them to, to be able to do their jobs more efficiently um, and also give them a, a home and, and somewhere that we say, you know, wel welcome to our community and, and we're happy to, to have you. Now, a spokesperson for Pittsburgh Police says it's an office space for these officers to complete nightly reports, report to roll call, and respond quickly to incidents along the East Carson Street corridor. I'll have much more, though, on all of the fun happening this weekend, including the PRT detours coming up in our later newscasts. For now, reporting live from the North Shore, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.